Okay, um, I got this battery set up kind of the way I think I need to do it. I did some extensive research today online and of course uh, internet research is uh, a very helpful tool but you have to know how to use it and uh, I've learned that forums are very very poor sources for information because um, by nature people like to pretend to know these things that they don't really know and so you get a lot of uh, stuff presented as fact that's just speculation and uh, one of those things was uh, I had mentioned in the previous video on this about trying to figure out what to use to coat these terminals for good corrosion protection and uh, uh, I did decide to try NOAA locks well um, I did a little research and I, I printed out the uh, MSDS sheet for NOAA locks and NOAA locks uh, if, if you don't know what it is is actually um, I think it stands for no aluminum, aluminum oxidization and uh, let me see if I can grab that sheet here real quick okay this is Ideal's version of Noalox which Ideal makes Noalox that's a brand and it's an antioxidant and it's used for uh, the, the specific um, intended use for this stuff is to coat aluminum conductors to prevent them from corroding from oxidization in other words uh, from actual air causes uh, corrosion on aluminum we all know that we've seen aluminum that sits around for a long time and just from the actual air hitting it it actually creates a corrosion on it so uh, one of the things that kind of caught my attention on this here was the uh, oh where did I find it here it was easier to find on the computer because it was bigger but uh, okay reactivity data this um, uh, reacts to acids avoid strong oxidizers acids and water so in other words the very things that your battery is going to have um, acid and water <laughs> is going to cause a uh, breakdown of that Noalox. So Noalox therefore is not a good uh, chemical to use on that. Uh, now some of the guys that I come across there and one of, one of the guys was very um, sounded very strong or vehement about not using dielectric grease. Well that's something that I had used in the past and I hadn't had no problems with it but uh, I was kind of mixed on whether it pre prevented the corrosion or not and uh, dielectric grease compound actually he was saying that uh, since dielectric grease is a non-conductor that would cause you problems with conductivity well I know for a fact that it does not cause problems with conductivity because I've used it and my conductivity was just fine so um, anyways I, I went back and did some more research on that and I found several good sources that pointed to that as a good use, a uh, good thing to use for um, preventing battery terminal corrosion. And uh, what it does is it blocks um, moisture and and acids and everything from penetrating or getting to the metals. And uh, what causes the corrosion on batteries actually is the uh, hydrogen gas that these batteries um, expel through the ventilation system and sometimes just through the uh, and I think this battery this is a uh, uh, I won't name no names but it's a cheap battery <laughs> I think if you look closely at the video you see where I got the battery but anyways it's a cheap battery and uh, I suspect that there's a possibility that they didn't use the best um, methods of sealing where the terminals come up or the posts come up through the plastic top so I think you can actually get some small amounts of hydrogen gas coming up through there and uh, I think that's what causes this to corrode so uh, anyways this this uh, dielectric compound will protect your metals if you coat it with that from these hydrogen gases as well as water um, oxygen anything else that wants to get to it and so I think it's uh, a very good material to use for that and so anyways um, 
I read this battery. Uh, one of the things that Chrysler tells you to use is those felt washers, and they tell you to soak them in oil. And um, I don't, I couldn't find anything on that, but I believe that what that probably does is the same thing. I think it helps prevent those hydrogen gases from getting up through that uh, seal between the post and the battery top and getting up to the terminal. I think it's just kind of like a little barrier. And uh, as far as the red and the green, the color, it doesn't matter. It's just a uh, visual thing. It allows you to, uh, you put green under your, your uh, negative and red under your positive and it's just, it's just a visible thing so that you can know which is which and uh, very unnecessary as far as I'm concerned. So anyways, this is, this is a bit, um, I know it's a lot of stuff to sit here and listen to and uh, but I kind of think it's important if you want to understand batteries and how to keep them from corroding so uh, one thing I wanted to add to this video is I wanted to um, show you my Jeep and I had cleaned that up and I had used this uh, dielectric compound but not near as thick as I did here and uh, I did that probably two months ago and I want to show you how those terminals look so I'm gonna go out to the Jeep and we'll show you that and then I'm gonna quit on this particular video Okay, this is the battery in the Jeep, and uh, uh, as you can see, there's one lead terminal on here and one tin terminal on there. The tin terminal is original, and that's got a little bit of corrosion underneath that. And this one here is the uh, lead terminal, and that's the one that I replaced, and I used that uh, dielectric grease on that when I worked on it, especially around the uh, uh, lead and the post and everything like that there. You can see kind of a wet spot where I would put it on there, and... Uh, but anyways, as you can see, there is no corrosion on that. And like I said, that's been a couple of months. And this thing was corroding bad before. That's the positive side. And I think there's probably a bit of a hydrogen leak right there around that terminal. And uh, uh, I think if I was to do, the, do anything more to this, I think I'd really slather that stuff on there to help protect it a little bit better. But since it's doing good right now, I'm not going to mess with it. Uh, this side here, I wouldn't mind changing that over to a lead one if I do start to have any problems with it right now like I say there's nothing no pressing reason to do anything with it I don't like those 10 terminals I much much prefer the lead terminals and uh, one of the reasons I used to think I didn't like them is because of the uh, potential for galvanic corrosion but I I printed out a chart for that too and I'm showing tin and lead as being very close in the uh, um, chart so that should not even be a problem and uh, anyways, that's plenty for this video, and let's go on, uh, well, signing off. <laughs> Thanks for watching.